Um, so good afternoon, colleagues. I'm Therese Fish. I'm one of the three vice deans at the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. Um, <clears throat> my responsibility, my title, I'm the, the vice dean of clinical service and social impact. And so part of my responsibility is to ensure that um, we have a pipeline of healthcare workers for the future. And so I work with my colleagues in the public sector to ensure that we have the place, the platform, where we can train our students. <clears throat> so as a, as a faculty training the next generation of health professionals, it is essential that we continue to ensure a steady pipeline of new graduates. During the first, the second, and now the third wave of the pandemic, we lost many of our health professionals and so many more were affected by becoming ill, and many have suffered a mental illness. They work tirelessly to help save our family, our friends, our colleagues, and our neighbors. In March 2020, when the president put the country into lockdown, we had to send all our undergraduate students home. And then we had to start the debate, well, what are we going to do if we don't train healthcare professionals? And so working with our colleagues at the, at, at the Department of Health and with many of the colleagues that you will hear today who are clinicians at the coal front, we had to negotiate how do we bring the students back so that we could at the end of 2020 deliver doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, and the specialists in many, many of the disciplines that we train. And you will be pleased to know that we achieved that. We graduated over 500 students, undergraduate students who are new professionals in the health service despite the pandemic. So we were very privileged in the first quarter of 2021 that our staff and students could participate in the Sisanki trial, and I'm sure many of you know about it. And so our faculty management team under my leadership facilitated the rollout of the vaccination for staff and students. We set up a dedicated email, you know, we have apps for everything. We had an app where our students and staff could register. And, and we had some staff members who assisted. So we were very proud, and one of our students will speak to it later, that today we have over 70% of our undergraduate students who are vaccinated. We're still unhappy about the other 30%, but we're going to encourage, and we hope today we'll also encourage those ones who are not yet certain about vaccination. So while vaccinations are not mandatory, we need to ensure that our students are not at risk from contacting COVID while in these training environments. And we know from many, many centuries and years of experience that vaccination is the way to prevent severe illness and death. Our students also train in schools and in NGOs and it may be that in the future, these environments say to us, Dr. Fish, no, you may not send your students to train in our settings if they're not vaccinated. And so we, especially because they'll be working with vulnerable people. So we today, and we continue this as part of our DNA now, we want to encourage our staff and students first and foremost to be vaccinated. But more importantly, we want to encourage the population of South Africa to take up the plight that our healthcare workers who will speak to you today to be vaccinated. Despite having to manage the pandemic, they continue to train the next generation of healthcare professionals, and I salute you. Thank you.